And now, visiting different countries with Blackberry Twist. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devin. And I'm Blackberry Twist. We are in the main hallway of the beach base. We have decided to hang out in the beach base during the month of May. Today, I'll be asking Blackberry Twist about what countries does she want to visit. This might be interesting. So, Blackberry Twist, what countries are you planning on visiting? You know, it's kind of hard for me to choose, but I think Canada would be the best. I can see where that's going. I've heard some people say that Canada is better than the United States. You know, I want to visit Canada too. Oh, well that's interesting. You know, Canada is a beautiful country. I think Toronto has a beautiful forest. That is true. Maybe one of these days when my children become older, I'll take them to Canada. Okay, Blackberry Twist. Moving on. Is there any other country that you want to visit besides Canada? Well, I was thinking that I could visit the Philippine Islands, Japan, or Vietnam. Are you sure you want to visit Vietnam? Of course I'm sure. I have a friend who was born in Vietnam. I'm still not sure about you going to Vietnam. Look, I get it. The United States has done bad things to Vietnam, but that's all in the past. Whatever you say, Blackberry Twist. Trust me, I'm an autistic superhero. Nobody can kill me. How do you let the Vietnamese people realize that you're an autistic superhero? The same way as I make the United States citizens and Canadian people realize that I'm an autistic superhero. I'm there for permanently. We already know that, but there has to be more than being barefoot permanently. Like what? Refusing to share food? Refusing alcohol beverages? Smelling blood? Eavesdropping? Refusing to let non-autistic people babysit our children? What? You really didn't need to go that far. What do you expect me to be? A hero that is born without autism? A hero that can wear shoes? What? BT, take it easy. Sorry about that, Devin. I didn't mean to do that. I just lost control. It's alright, Blackberry Twist. I understand. Anyways, I think Vietnam, Japan, and the Philippine Islands would be interesting countries for me to visit. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, I totally agree. How about China? Would you want to visit China? China would be an interesting country for me to visit, but unfortunately, I cannot visit China. Why not? The people that live in China might think that we autistic superheroes are military soldiers undercover. What about the autistic superheroes that know Kung Fu? We may know three martial arts, Karate, Kung Fu, and Taekwondo. But still, China would not let us in. If any of you YouTube watchers have visited China before, please answer this question. If the autistic superheroes were real, would China allow the autistic superheroes to visit? Please, let us know in the comments down below. Come on, let's be honest. Yes, we do work for the US military, but please, every hero needs a vacation. The autistic superheroes don't want to go to war. They want peace. We don't want any of the countries to think that we are military spies undercover. Well, you heroes are pretty special. Special enough where countries will allow me to visit. Well, heroes can barge in and do whatever they want in the countries. But I can't fly. But you have friends that can fly. I would still be scared to visit different countries. Well, heroes don't get scared all the time. True, but I'm just a shy girl. But you have autism, like me. I know, and I'm high-functioning. Are there any countries that you hate, Blackberry Twist? Saudi Arabia is one of them. Is there a problem with that country? Muslims. 
We, autistic superheroes, hate Muslims. You know, Saudi Arabia doesn't just have Muslims. They have other religions, too. I still don't want to go to the Middle East country. You know, there are other countries worse than Saudi Arabia. You know, Russia, North Korea. Don't get me started with those countries. Whoa, girl, take it easy. I would rather have the president of Russia and the supreme leader of North Korea sleep in a cemetery. You mean... Don't you dare say their names out loud, unless you want YouTube to ban you for life. Okay, Blackberry Twist. Calm down. Sheesh. I'm sorry, Devin. I didn't mean to overreact. It's okay, Blackberry Twist. I understand. It's just that some of the bad countries are just too dangerous for me. Don't worry, Blackberry Twist. You don't have to visit those dangerous countries. You know, if I do travel to different countries, sometimes it'll make me a little bit nervous because they don't do everything that Americans do. Well, all countries don't have to follow the same rules as any other countries, including United States. Well, I have visited different countries in Africa. Oh, really? What countries from Africa have you visited? Well, I have visited Egypt, Mozambique, South Africa, Madagascar, Liberia, Nigeria, and that other country that I cannot pronounce. And what country is hard to pronounce for you? Let me give you a clue. The country's flag looks like this. Oh, that country. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've been to that country before. Well, that's good. How was it? It was pretty interesting. Did you get anything good in that country? I didn't really get something interesting in that country, but I did get something interesting in Nigeria. Like what, Blackberry Twist? I bought a vase, I bought some jewelry, I bought some food, and I bought a flag. And where are they now? They're in my bedroom. Well, now that you have children, you need to make sure that all of your souvenirs are out of their reach. Don't worry, Devin. Until they are five years old, they'll be sleeping in hallway Z. Did you say C or Z? I said Z, as in zebra. Oh, okay. I understand now. When I went to Egypt, all of the Egyptians were nice to me. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, I even got to see some mummies. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's when I also made friends with some other autistic superheroes. Well, that's nice that you made friends with more autistic superheroes. Yeah, there was the Crystal Princess and her cousin, the Queen of Egypt. Egypt has a queen? She's not really the queen of the whole country. She's more like the queen of the desert Egypt. Okay, does she have a name? I don't remember her name. I just remember her cousin, the Crystal Princess. And what part of Egypt do they live in? Inside one of the pyramids in the deserts of Egypt. Okay, moving on. Alright then. So, you have been to other African countries? Yeah, I've been to Madagascar, South Africa, and Liberia. Do you know what the people in Madagascar are called? Malagasy. Well, I hope you call people that live in Madagascar that. It took me some practice, but I got used to it. Well, I hope you didn't have any trouble understanding those people. Well, when I used French in Madagascar, they understood what I said. Wait a minute. You speak French? Yeah. My grandparents taught me how to speak French. Okay... Je donc le château les pieds. And what does that mean? Oh, I get it. Sorry, 
sorry that I had to use my brain reading powers on you. Don't worry, Blackberry Twist. I won't tell any of your friends or your family members. Thank you, Devin. You're the best. It is my pleasure. Well, our time's almost up. Okay, let me ask you three more questions and then we're done. What happened when you went to Liberia? Some people that lived in Liberia were nice enough to give me a foot massage. And how was it? It felt pretty nice. Although, they tickled my feet, but I just let them. When the Liberian people tickled your feet, what did you do? All that I did was just laugh and have some fun. And how did they do that? They scratched my soles with their fingers softly. And then what happened? They found out that my feet were ticklish, so they decided to tickle them. Okay, then. So apparently the foot massage that I got was pretty ticklish, but at least I had fun. Okay, then. Whatever makes you happy. Don't worry. That always makes me happy and have fun. Well, I'm glad you had a good time in Africa. Yeah, I sure did have a lot of fun in Africa. Especially South Africa and Egypt. You also went to South Korea, didn't you? Oh, yeah. That's where we went on our honeymoon together. Yeah, I made a video about the autistic superheroes visiting South Korea. Well, South Korea is one of the countries where the autistic superheroes are allowed to visit. Well, Heatstroke told me that you had to stay home in the United States. Well, that's because I was pregnant, and I was not allowed to visit different countries until I was no longer pregnant. Well, it's a good thing you gave birth to your babies before you could leave the United States. Well, apparently, I stayed home with Heatstroke, Cherry Bomb, and Grape Puncher. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, it sure was. That was some great interview, Blackberry Twist. It was a great pleasure to be here. If you enjoy this video, will you please give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and leave a comment down below. And also remember to click the subscribe button and the bell button so that you'll get notified about our future videos. And remember to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. All of our YouTube videos will premiere every Wednesday at 12 p.m. unless they are special videos that will premiere on holidays. I'll be having an interview with a villain on May 12th. Well, I hope you wear armor when you go to the interview with that villain. Don't worry, Blackberry Twist. I'll be fine. Zathena Zagilia will not be a threat. Okay, I'm trusting you, but still, be careful. Don't worry, BT. I will be careful. Alright, time to wrap it up. So now, if you'll excuse us, we got dinner to make. We are making barbecue chicken for dinner tonight. But as always, thank you all for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. This is Devin Chisholm. And Blackberry Twist. Saying peace out and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye for now.